What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to install the source mod and metamod plugin loaders for your Apex CSGO server. Before we hop into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every new tutorial we post just like this one. When you're playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you might feel the need to install plugins on your server. This can bring significant gameplay and aesthetic improvements. Normally, for this to work, you're going to need the Source Mod and the Metamod plugin loaders. Today, we're going to show you how easy this installation process is and how streamlined and efficient it can be. There's two files that you're going to need to download to get started. These files are absolutely necessary, so you are going to have to download them and they are of course going to be linked in the description of this video. The first one is going to be Metamod. This is for Source of course and you're going to need to download the Linux version of this for the Source Mod and for the Metamod. So whatever website you go to, once you are on the download page, make sure that you're downloading the Linux version to download the file. Once you've got those files or file downloaded, all you're going to need to do is click and drag these files to a location where you can easily locate them later on. Something like your desktop or a folder you just know that you can visit often. Once these files are downloaded, go ahead and make a folder for the two files and drop them both in there. Right click them and then with a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR, go ahead and unzip these two files until the contents are in their own folder. Once all of the contents are in their own folder, you're going to see add-ons and the CFG folder. Go ahead and click into the add-ons folder and delete the metamod.vdf file. That's this one that you're seeing on the screen right here. Now that your files are downloaded and they're extracted correctly, we're going to go over something really quickly. If your downloaded files don't work most of the time, this is just caused by downloading the wrong one, something like the Windows or the Mac version. You're only going to need to download the Linux version for this to work, even if you're running a different operating system. In addition, go ahead and make sure that you've unzipped both of the files completely into their own folder. When you're preparing a new file, the first thing you're going to need to do is head to the VDF generator webpage. This, of course, is going to be linked in the description of this video. In the game drop down on this page, go ahead and make sure that you've selected Counter Strike Global Offensive. Then go ahead and click on Generate Metamod.VDF. And once this file is saved, please put the file into the add ons folder. Now you can return to the original unzip location with the add ons and the CFG folder. Now highlight the two folders and right click them to make sure that they are in their own zipped file. And once you've gotten a zip file with the add-ons and the CFG folder inside, you're ready to upload this to your Apex server. Once you are on your Apex server, go ahead and as always before making any changes to your server, go ahead and stop your server. You're going to be uploading the files to your server and once your server has come to a complete stop and it's fully offline, go ahead and jump into the FTP file access tab on the left hand side of the page. And now go ahead and log in with your info. Go ahead and enter the CSGO folder. And once you find this folder, go ahead and click into the folder. Once you are loaded into this folder on the left hand side of the page, Simply click on upload at the top left of the page. Once you are in this upload page, go ahead and open the folder where you have those files and click and drag them to the right hand side of the page that says upload. Now you just need to wait for these files to upload 100% and one out of one files to this page. 
Once this is fully uploaded, go ahead and return to the CSGO folder by clicking back or just re-entering the folder and select the .zip folder that you just made by checking that little box to the left of the file. Now, scroll up to the top of the page and click on the unzip function. Now, it'll bring you to this page where all you need to do is click on submit. And once this is done, all you need to do is click on the name of your server at the top of the page and then start your server. Well, now your server or your Apex CSGO server is all ready for plugins. Whether you're running a quality server, testing things out, or just messing around, we know that you really care about CSGO and that's why you're installing these plugins. Whether it's to improve the life of your server patrons or just to stretch the possibilities of this game, Apex has got you covered. Well folks, that's all we've got for you today. And as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.